Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In this video I'm gonna tell you all the times that I've been on the radio on Q Music and some little extras. So the first time I was on Q Music was when I won 5 sauce tickets. Um, I already told you this story so I'm gonna keep it really short. The Q Music DJs were tweeting, come on, go and listen to Q Music because um, <clears throat> I guess it was Bim? I'm not sure. But um, yeah, he has a surprise for all the 5 sauce fans. So um, I put on my radio and started listening, and then um, he told, yeah, and then he said something like, yeah, all the Five Stars fans who didn't go and really want to go, and then a lot of long story, um, but I was like, I have to call because I can win tickets, even though I didn't know how I could, but I just thought there. Eh. So I called them, and I was the first one to. Um, yeah, get into the studio and I won the tickets, so that was the first time I actually was on the radio and now I sometimes have this, yeah, excited feeling um, when I get caught from Q Music um, because I have just have that memory and I was shaking when I won the tickets and now I sometimes have that too, which is really frustrating, but it's okay. I also have been on Q Music for Repeat of Need. Repeat of Need is a thing on Q Music um, which the listeners can vote if a song is going to be played on the radio station or not. And if the song gets 10 or 9 repeats, I'm not sure, um, then it will get played more often on Q Music. And when it gets a need, so a no, um, yeah, it won't be played anymore. They have been calling me for that three times or something. and twice with Little Mix and that was in December 2015 and yeah Little Mix were in repeat of need with Love Me Like You yeah with Love Me Like You the Christmas edition and um, yeah they caught me twice and first I got to talk to Menno yeah first I got to talk to Menno and the day after that I got to talk to Yoop which was really funny speaking about Yoop uh, I also was one of his um, vloggers for his vlog channel YouTube. I got to vlog the uh, performance that I had um, and yeah it was really fun and I really like it. It will put a link in the description if you want to watch that video. Um, I should really do it because it's really fun. Uh, the next times I was on Q Music was with Schatje Ik Maak Ster Van Je. Um, I also told you about this in another video and yeah Schatje Ik Maak Ster Van Je. I will translate it for you who do not speak Dutch is something like honey I'll make a star from you and um, yeah it goes like this Joey the radio DJ um, is trying to gain your followers on Instagram and yeah he does this by yeah giving you a shout out and you have to follow back everyone who follows you uh, it was really hot but it was so much fun and I talked to Joey uh, after and before I was on the radio and he's just so friendly and it was an amazing uh, yeah, conversation that I had with him. I also sang on the radio once with yeah, four or five other people and it was like an experiment because the radio DJ Menno um, was it Menno? I'm not sure about the radio DJs but I think it was Menno he um, yeah, read something in the newspaper that if you sing with each other you um, become friends much uh, earlier um, and you become better friends so we tried that and he asked people, yeah, if you want to join, just send me a message and maybe I will call you back. So he called me back and I was there with four others. Uh, we sang Father Jacob, which is a Dutch kids song. And it was so much fun. I really laughed so hard. And there was one guy um, who told me, yeah, really feel a connection with us, May. And then, then I was like, yeah, I also feel that too. But it was... <laughs> when I'm thinking back of it, I'm like so sad that I don't have uh, recorded it because it was amazing. <laughs> it was so funny and I love doing it. I also got asked uh, to tell my opinion of one of the songs that I have um, yeah, chosen for the top 2000. And yeah, they asked me if I wanted to tell it on radio. So yeah, I did that and it sounded something like this. Good evening. Good evening. 
Uh, jij hebt gestemd op onder andere uh, Nervous van Kevin James, uh, Gavin de Grog, Chariot en ook Oasis, Don't Look Back in Anger. Uh, ja, waarom, waarom heb je daarop gestemd? Um, nou, het was een liedje dat uh, speelde tijdens de grote avond op mijn school. Op de grote avond voor, voor je school. Maar m- hoeveel man zat er dan? Uh, nou ja, ongeveer 700 man. 700 man? <laughs> ja, Jeetje. Wat, het was echt heel vet. Was je, was je niet super nerveus? Nou, eigenlijk niet. Ik had het wel heel erg verwacht, maar het viel eigenlijk heel erg mee. En je hebt het. So he asked me to play on the radio. And yeah, it didn't really sound really good. Because it's like phone to phone and then send it onto the radio. So it's the quality is so bad and it doesn't sound really good. But um, yeah, it was really nice. It was a really cool um, conversations that we had. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Last but not least, I have had a guided tour in the Q Music building from Q Music DJ Stefan Baumann. And it was so much fun and I learned really much about Q Music. I think it's such a great, great, great company and yeah, if I'm able to work there once, I would be so happy because I think that the whole um, company is just like a family and everyone knows each other and is kind to each other and yeah it's just a really big family but um, we went there for school and also for fun for ourselves but we had to make a little vlog for about it we had to make a little vlog about it so um, yeah it was for an assignment for school but uh, yeah we did that and it was so much fun and yeah we got to see the whole studio and the um, kitchen and the living area and the workspace and also the cube where um, artists perform. Um, last there were Little Mix, Achern has been there, the script has been there and yeah a lot of all the artists but it was really cool to be there. It were all the things I have done um, yeah related to Q music. If you have any questions then just ask them here in the comments um, because I love to answer them. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I would be so happy if you would do that. And yeah, maybe give this video a like. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.